Okay guys, so this is going to be an unboxing from Speed Cube Shop. Is this in here? Somewhere. Anyway, from Speed Cube Shop, uh, a YouTube testing. So thank you to Cameron and his mom. Um, by the way, Bobo is here. Probably haven't seen her in a while, so... I'm not dead. Hi. She's not dead. So, comes with that. That. I don't know what any of that means. That's pretty cool. Um, it comes with a YouTube testers program. It says, Congratulations on being selected to participate in our YouTube product tester programs. It closes Lin Young 2. Blah, 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 blah. blah. So yeah, this is cool. Um, it's white. Comes in a Linyan box. Nothing special. Oh, I don't want to rip it. This is weird. Ah, this <laughs> feels weird. Do you hear it? Yeah. That means the springs are on backwards. Ah, well, it's getting better. Well, now it's better. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to solve it, but. So yeah, it got better. I don't think it's much different from the Ling Yun. It has torpedoes. Um, you try it. That's weird. Yeah. See, there's my Ling Yun. This is my Ling Yun. Yeah. It's gonna need to be lubed in the, the spring sound already. Yeah, they need to be flipped over. What do you think of it? It feels weird. I think the springs are in the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> so. Hey, look, I look like Phil. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Um, oh, this is weird. So, it feels weird, is pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, we'll see after I lube and assemble it. Or it's assembled. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. You get what I mean. Anyway. So, it feels a lot different than the Lin Yang, in my opinion, right now. Um, so, we'll see if it gets any better. I'm hoping it does. But, yeah, see you guys in the review. So now for the review. As most of you guys saw in the <clears throat> beginning, uh, I did an unboxing of this cube from Speed Cube Shop. Um, my first impressions of this cube were really not that great. Uh, the tensions that it came with were completely and utterly terrible. Some sides were so tight that I couldn't even pull them. Other sides were so loose that like you could see the thread of the screw, um, which equals bad cube. That's why I was so unimpressed when I first uh, unboxed it. Uh, I decided to take it apart, lube it with Lubix, um, and put it back together. And now here it is so yeah uh, this cube is absolutely awesome I definitely recommend getting it and now let's get into the full out review for the size comparison on your left is the Lin Young version 1 on your right is the Lin Young version 2 um, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks to me like the Lin Yang 1 is just a tiny, tiny bit bigger. Um, almost not even worth mentioning. Uh, that was the wrong box. Uh, and then it's smaller than the Guhong. 
uh, which is makes sense because the Lin Yang is smaller than the Guhang also. The turning of this cube is very similar to the Lin Yang version 1, as you can see. Uh, they feel very much alike. My Lin Yang version 1 is a really fast right now, sometimes uncontrollable. I'm not sure why, but uh, the Lin Yang version 2 is, to me right now, very controllable, very uh, easy to use, and, and just it doesn't seem like there'd be much of a difference. <clears throat> and in a sense, there really isn't. But what they've done to the version 2 has pretty much just uh, capped all the little tiny problems on the Lin Young version 1 that it had and just pretty much made the perfect Lin Young. The corner cutting of this cube, there we go, here's 45, maybe just a little bit less than line to line. Great, good job, Slater. Um, reverse corner cutting. And so it's not great. I mean, that's not bad. Um, middle cuts. So that's pretty good. And then, like I said, everybody, everybody does it like down. They're like, oh, corner cutting. Or I always go this way and go up. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's the corner cutting. It's pretty awesome. There's nothing to complain about. The sticker quality of this cube, pretty good. Uh, normal Diane stickers. Uh, I've been pretty rough with this so it has some chips uh, you can see right there there's a chip there was one on the white right there the yellow side's pretty beat up um, probably then end up with cubesmiths like this cube uh, half brights but that looks like an ugly green on my camera compared to yeah, anyway that's not what it really looks like uh, but yeah, sticker quality is awesome, like normal Diane cubes. Nothing to sneeze at, uh, and they'll last you a while if you take care of them. Now for the pieces. So, let's start with center caps. Um, as you can see, they have made a bit of a d change on their center caps from the version 2 to 1 and 2. One is on the left, um, and it will be that way throughout this whole segment. So, uh, kind of on the version 2, they made it more square, uh, made it fit with the center cap a little bit better, or with the center piece, whereas this one's just like a big square that just fits in. Uh, these ones are a lot harder to get out. Oh, and then they changed the little peg, and how you're getting them out, actually. The version 1, you have to get out by using the corner. I don't know if you can see that. Whereas this one, it's the edges, uh, the sides. The corner pieces, um, starting from the bottom, the version 1's more flat, whereas the version 2, they kind of like rounded it up. Uh, uh, I can see it. I don't know if you guys see what I'm talking about, whereas these are rounded up, and that is a flat bottom, sort of. Um, the sides, they they didn't do much, I don't think. Um, come on, focus. Uh, they might, that dip right there, uh, this one, I think they cut it out a little bit more on the version 2. Other than that, I don't think I see any other differences with the corners. Um, the edges, yes, mine has Lubix torpedoes in it. Um, and 
that's pretty much the only difference, really. I mean, maybe, come on, focus. Okay, um, maybe like right there. Might be cut out a little bit more on the version 2. Really not that much of a difference though. Uh, so then there's the bump on the edge which makes it a little bit crispy. I don't think it's as pronounced on the version 2 but I could be wrong. And yeah the version 2 they added torpedoes. Uh, which not that big of a deal to me because I already had Lubick torpedoes. Which I find to look a lot cooler because they're green. Um, the major difference, though, are these centerpieces. Come on, focus. Okay. So, show you them together. On the right is the version 2. Left is the version 1. Version 2 is a lot more circular. Makes it so the pieces don't just pop out. Um, this one has four corners. This one doesn't. It's just very, very rounded. Which I guess that's pretty much the main difference of the pieces. And that's why they don't pop as much. Uh, the sides, as you can hopefully see, because my camera's being stupid... Um, this is the little cutout they use so that you can get the center caps out. As you can see here, you go like that and you can pop it out. Whereas on the version 1, you use the corners like that. Hopefully you guys understand what I mean. Uh, cores, I have an older Lin Young. I think I got it like right when it came out. So, probably an older core. Uh, other than that, I don't really see a difference, but there's all the pieces right there, uh, but yeah, that's about it. Pops and lockups. Currently, at my tensions, I have it a little bit loose, um, I have had a couple of popping problems, like it, not like every solve, but one in every 50 I would say it, it pops on me um, especially when I'm trying to do something big and it just just pop out kind of like that uh, I don't know if you saw that but it'll just pop uh, I could tighten it but I want to leave it a little bit loose because I really like the feel of it right now so I don't want to change it um, so lockups you don't really get very many lockups because of its awesome cutting uh, yeah, I don't think I've gotten any. There's nothing bad like Rubik's brands or anything like that where it just it just locks up and you can't move it. Um, everything on this cube is pretty good. The speed of this cube. Um, I would very much compare the speed to the Zanshi, or at least my Zanshi, if you watch. Uh, they're very, both a very accurate turning. Um, not super fast, I mean, I can, I can do some super fast stuff on it, and I can do it here too. Very controllable, yeah, very fast. Um, I wouldn't say as fast as my Lin Young 1, which as you can see is just like, super duper fast, but... It's it's a it's perfect speed, I think. Um, and I said it about the Zanshi that the speed is it can be really fast if you want it to be, and it can be not that fast if, as long as you know how to control it. And that I think helps with uh, with the the cube. Um, it makes it that much better. Would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this. Um, at first I was like, oh, it's just another die-in cube. I'm not going to get it, blah, blah, blah. And after getting it, I think that this, this cube is awesome uh, and definitely worth worth it. Uh, you can get it at Speed Cube Shop. 
Uh, it's fourteen dollars, I think, uh, at most fourteen dollars. Uh, but yeah, so thirteen ninety nine plus shipping. So very reasonable price. Uh, awesome cube. When you get it, you'll need to tension it if you get it assembled. If not, you can tension it yourself. Not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I think anybody that likes the Lin Young One will really like this cube because it feels a lot like it, except for just it has the speed and control of the Zanshi, yet the feel of a Lin Young, and I really, really, really like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if this is my new main or not, but right now I'm just thinking this is an amazing cube and that anyone that wants an awesome cube should go out and get it. <coughs> so my afterthoughts, um, after playing this for about a week and a half maybe, um, it just got better and better and better. Uh, I've gotten some really good times with it and I just think it's an absolutely amazing cube. It has awesome turning, corner cutting, um, it doesn't really pop or lock up. Its speed is phenomenal. It's just overall an awesome cube, and I really like that. So, um, I need to change my sticker to Lubix, but, uh, because all my Diane cubes, except for my Diane one, have, oh, wow, wow, that was terrible. Um, I have the sticker, but, yeah, after tensioning, and lubing and breaking it in this cube is just absolutely amazing and I think everyone will like it if they get one so in conclusion um, I just I'm gonna do a couple solves for you I think I'm gonna do about three we'll see um, stats are in the descriptions with the uh, scrambles and everything so go check that out don't forget to follow me uh, on Facebook Twitter YouTube and my Tumblr. Uh, links in the description. And yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy the solves. I don't plan on saying anything afterwards, so uh, check the description. I'll have the times, uh, the times, the average, and all that in the description. I might do five. It depends. We'll see. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys.